Snowflakes falling on your face, a cold wind blows away. The laughter from this treasured place, but in our memories it stays. Those are the wrong snowflake lyrics. I'm a snowflake. Ah, yes, we're going to just, I guess, speak about something. Preach about it. Preach something I did not know about. And a Huge. good good friend of the show, Doc, who has a doctorate in doctoring with. He does. He has a doctorate in snowflakes. <laughs> yeah. Hugest. He just, I mean, for months he's been telling me about this guy, Tom McDonald, and I kept being like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I, no, I don't no, know what no. you're talking I, about. I've been telling you about him for years. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, do I think have so. discovered my famous snowflake years ago. So uh, that means that you know all about his tattoos. And his... I do. The white penises on his face. <laughs> they are not white penises. I'm pretty sure they're white penises. Oh, did you do all the tattooing work I did. yourself? Yes. Obviously. I actually. You, the, you, he can fit all the piercings. He can fit so many penises because he graphed my tiny penis oh on my his God. face. He just fit them all over. But either way, the doc was giving me the insight to him and saying about this guy. He's like completely independent and he, you know, really interacts with his fans and he's he seems like a good dude. I was like, all right, whatever, man. Like, I don't, I didn't know what was going on. And then, um, lo and behold, the dude goes and he's number one on all genres, the U.S. iTunes sales chart. Charts are huge. And he's on it for, I think he's, as of today, which whatever day today is, it, he was on it for six days straight, maybe five. Five, six. And his videos at like 4.8 million views in the first like four days it dropped. A business week. A full business week. That man has accomplished something. He's so this guy is like probably the most controversial rapper going on right now. Would you say? Uh, yeah, he's For like sure. the whiter Eminem. <laughs> he's even whiter and even more Eminem than Eminem. He is the whitest Eminem. <laughs> he is speaking of Eminem. Did you know? Fun tip that he has a song dedicated to Eminem called uh, "Hey Slim" or no? What's it called? Something about Dear Slim, Slim or Dear something. Dear Slim, yeah. yeah. And it says produced by Eminem. Did you know he's the guy who bought the hundred thousand dollar Eminem non fungible token beat? He bought that beat. Did he really? Yeah, he bought the beat and then wrote a song about Eminem on the beat Using. that Eminem he bought from Eminem. Oh my god, that's awesome. That is pretty crazy. That's some balls. Yeah, this guy, from what I understand, he completely like I, I, I did a little bit of research, listened to some of the songs. He does everything himself. He does the beats. He does the writes his own rhymes, writes all the music, and then he also the, he he does his girlfriend. I guess it's his girlfriend, uh, Bella Novadella. Uh, Bella. I'm Bella sorry, Thor I don't Bella know. Bella Thorne. I am learning who these people are, because uh, this is all brand new to me. Because clearly, I am out of touch. But every single video is directed by the same person, his partner in crime. I guess uh, you'll research that in a second. So he says, and, and I can only go off of what he says, he owns all of the cameras, does everything himself, Nova Rockefeller. Yeah, that's... That's, that's a cool name. That's a tight name. That is pretty tight. It's tight like a tiger. Oh my God. So she directs all of his videos, and he owns everything himself. He's not tied to any corporate anything. He's doing this all on his own, and he's been doing it for several years. The only thing that's a little unclear is that he's Canadian rapping about, like... U.S. politics and wokeness. Maybe he's a U.S. citizen. Maybe he's an illegal. I don't know. Did he cross the border? I don't, probably he is the one who stole the maple syrup heist back in 2016. He probably got fame. He probably got all of his money from stealing all that maple syrup. Maybe he tried to sexually assault Justin Bieber. Who I knows? would say that's allegedly and probably not true. Well, he's Canadian, so that makes sense. Is Justin Bieber Canadian? He is. No, he's not. Is 100, he? 100%, yeah. <laughs> Get out of town. Yeah. There's damn Canadians. Fucking Canadians. Invading. Oh, there's Canucks invading. Canadians. We're just not Americans. Just we're, we're, we struggle with the talents, I guess. It's all those Canadians. So all of his lyrics, though, are extremely... Uh, oh, they're tight. <laughs> they are. There's something else. I mean, the guy... Look, I was... I did not give him a chance when Doc... Uh, first introduced he doctor didn't really he sort of played music I couldn't really hear it it wasn't like a good situation for music listening uh, but I've given it a second chance and and you know I, I think the guy clearly has talent clearly has a message he wants to get across 
and uh, you know, it's good to see that there are. Po it's funny when you have this white guy rapping about all this woke stuff, and he's the one who's controversial. Like it's because he, he even talks about it in his Eminem song. He's like, Eminem, you used to be controversial, and now you're on the same side as like Amazon. I didn't know Eminem was a sellout bitch. All the banks. Like you can't be on the same side as corporate America and think that you're some sort of like being rebellious or you're outside the norm. Like that doesn't make sense. You can't be on the same side as big corporate America. So this guy, he's completely untainted and he says what he wants and uh, the background of his YouTube says no lives matter. No, I think that's his uh, that's one of his songs. Oh, he has a song. So no let's go. Matter. We could go through some of his videos like we'll t let's mention what some of the names are. Fake Snowflake. Woke. Yeah, Fake Woke. Um, uh, what else? Is There's a song talking? called Buttholes. That's kind of fun. Yeah, Clown World canceled. He talks about getting, you know, people getting canceled. Uh, Sell out. No lives matter. Sno Snowflake is probably his best one. He's got some people baller so lyrics on that. You, you want to give us a taste? Oh yeah, this way he's just preaching truth here. If America is so terrible and racist, probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. I mean, the mic drop. I mean, I don't know. That does seem like kind of a hypocritical thing to do. <laughs> you know who hates America the most? Americans. Oh man. I mean, well, not everybody hates America. No, who who else hates America? North Korea. China. Oh, they, they, well, no, China likes us because they like LeBron. No, China is as ho. <laughs> China is as ho. Exactly. Well, um, either way, I just, it's, it's as a, you know, I guess a former musician myself or still currently a musician. Current rapper for Listening myself. to all of our fantastic music that we give you for free and listening to all the background music that, uh, that I happen to do. Lyrics written by Noob. Yes, obviously. Oh, the lack of lyrics. So anyway. <laughs> Um, but it's so hard to do something like this independent and this guy must have like cojones of steel Yeah, because he does not care. He says whatever he wants and he's doing it on his own terms So and he's an entrepreneur. So good for him. He looks um, Like a serial killer. Yeah, you could say that but you know what can't judge everybody by their looks you can only judge them by uh, They're not he has not yet killed anyone. He looks like post Malone that grew up in the ghetto <laughs> There's not even like the funny thing is 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 this is kind of how out of touch I guess some of us are, including myself. Is I never even heard this guy. If it would had not been for Doc, I would have never ever heard of. This I never guy. heard of him either. And then all of a sudden, this dude is dropping like, you know, he's number one on all iTunes charts, and he's he's doing uh, his videos are in the millions and millions of views. He overtook Butter by BTS. He overtook. Butter. What? He spread BTS's so butter he, he spread, he spread. all over his snowflakes. Oh my god, it is crazy. But uh, yeah, this guy is just—he's killing it. Uh, congratulations! At the time that they that this article was written, it was at eight hundred fifty thousand YouTube views. It has demolished that. And the, what's fascinating is he's not backed up by any major studios. No one is backing this guy up no. except for himself. And his all tattoos. All completely on his own. All of his tattoos. Well, I mean, he's got his like little gang of, of friends, like obviously. Oh, the other thing too is, you think you can come after this guy? Good luck. In his Snowflake video, he has the first, and this is according to him, the first rap video with a trans, featuring a trans woman, Blair White. Yes. So, come at him. A tell fellow him he's a, YouTuber. Tell him that he's some kind of like, tell him he's transphobic or he's homophobic. He's clearly not. The man clearly doesn't care what you do. I guess he's just about liberty. He is in a throuple with Blair White. I don't know that he's in a throuple. Allegedly. <laughs> sure, whatever. But yeah, Blair White, another YouTuber, is featured prominently in the video. So, uh, I mean, go at it, bro. Good for you, man. Make the American dream happen. I I'm good to hear it. If you don't like his lyrics, he'll tell you to uh, go kiss off and pound some sand are you now a tom mcdonald fan oh i am a snowflake fan through and through it's huge are you you are a mcdonald's fan but I are do, you a do you think they will have a tom mcdonald's oh my McDonald's god i hope meal? so yeah how about you stop giving bts a meal and give this guy uh who i'm already sure comes is gonna paint be on tattoos or something <laughs> it comes with tattoos for the kids exactly uh so from all of us here at our reviews will kill you to all of y'all uh stay safe we love y'all, and uh, we'll be on to the next one.